Welcome to our CompTIA A Plus Core 2 Software Troubleshooting Practice question series. Software accounts for 22% of the Core 2 exam, so make sure you're prepared by testing your knowledge. Stay tuned as we go through scenarios on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, mobile OS troubleshooting and more. Question 1. A user reports their Linux workstation is suddenly running slowly. Which command can help the technician identify the process using the most CPU resources? A top, B PS, C sudo, D proc or CPU info. The correct choice is A top. The top command in Linux provides a dynamic real time view of the running system and displays information about system summary information and a list of processes currently being managed by the Linux kernel. It can help identify the process using the most CPU resources. BPS The PS command in Linux is used to display information about the currently running processes including their process identification numbers PIDs. It's not specifically used to identify the process using the most CPU resources. Csudo, the sudo command in Linux, is used to run programs with the security privileges of another user. By default, the super user. It's not used to identify the process using the most CPU resources. Dproc or CPU info. This is a file, not a command. It contains information about the CPU, such as its type, make, model, and performance. It doesn't provide information about the current CPU usage of individual processes. Question 2. A user needs to permanently remove an application from their Mac computer. Which utility can help thoroughly uninstall the application? A. Finder B. App Store C. Disk Utility D. Terminal The correct answer is D terminal. A finder can be used to uninstall applications, but it does not remove all of the application's files. B. The App Store can be used to uninstall applications that were downloaded from the App Store, but it cannot be used to uninstall applications that were installed from other sources. C disk utility cannot be used to uninstall applications. To uninstall an application using the terminal, follow these steps. 1. Open the terminal. 2. Navigate to the applications folder. 3. Type the following command. 4. sudo rm rf application name. 4. Press enter. 5. Enter your password when prompted. The application will be uninstalled completely. Question 3. A user's desktop running Windows. 10 is experiencing repeated application crashes. Which control panel utility can help identify possible driver or hardware issues? A system. B. Devices and printers. C. Programs and features. D. Device manager. choice is D, Device Manager. This control panel utility allows you to view and manage hardware devices and their drivers. By checking Device Manager, you can identify any problematic drivers or hardware devices that may be causing the repeated application crashes. A, System. This control panel utility provides information about the computer's hardware, operating system and system properties, but it does not specifically help identify possible driver or hardware issues. B devices and printers. This control panel utility allows you to view and manage connected devices and printers, but it does not specifically help identify possible driver or hardware issues. C programs and features. This control panel utility allows you to view and uninstall installed programs 
but it does not specifically help identify possible driver or hardware issues. To identify possible driver or hardware issues using Device Manager, follow these steps. 1. Open Device Manager. 2. Expand the category for the device that you are experiencing problems with. 3. Right-click on the device and select Properties. 4. Click on the Driver tab. 5. Look for any errors or warnings in the Driver Status section. If you see any errors or warnings, you can try to update the driver or reinstall the device. Question 4. An application requires installation of a dependency in a Linux server. Which package manager command will install the required dependency? A. Zipper in. B. DNF install. C. apt get install. D. Yum local install. The correct choice is C. apt get install. This command is used by the APT package manager in Debian and Ubuntu distributions, and it is commonly used to install packages and their dependencies. A. Zipper in. This command is used by the Zipper package manager in OpenSUSE and SUSE Linux distributions, not in a general Linux server. B. DNF install. This command is used by the DNF package manager in Fedora and CentOS RHEL 8 plus distributions, not in a general Linux server. D. Yum local install. This command is used by the Yum package manager in CentOS Arch L7 and earlier distributions, not in a general Linux server. To install a dependency using apt-get, you can use the following command, apt-get install dependency name. This will install the dependency and any other required dependencies. Question 5. You are a system administrator managing a Windows server in an enterprise environment. Your task is to retrieve information about the local users on this server for security auditing purposes. Which Windows PowerShell command should you use to obtain this information? A. Get local user. B. Get ad user. C. Get user. D. Get child item. The correct choice is A. Get local user. This PowerShell command retrieves information about local user accounts on a computer. B. Get a user. This command is used to get information about user accounts in Active Directory, not local user accounts. C. Get user. This command is used in Exchange Server environments to get information about mail users, not local user accounts. D get child item. This command is used to get items like files and directories in a specified location, not to get information about local user accounts. Question 6. A company is rolling out new Windows Server computers. What utility can help quickly set up identical configurations on the new servers? A. Disk part. B. Windows ADK. C. Windows Server Update Services D. Windows Deployment Services The correct choice is D. Windows Deployment Services Windows Deployment Services WDS is a utility that can help quickly set up identical configurations on new Windows server computers. WDS allows administrators to create and manage images of Windows server systems, which can then be deployed to multiple machines over the network. This enables the rapid deployment of standardized configurations to new servers, saving time and ensuring consistency. Diskpart is a command line utility for managing disks and partitions. Windows ADK, Assessment and Deployment Kit, is a collection of tools for customizing, assessing, and deploying Windows operating systems. 
and Windows Server Update Services WSUS, is a tool for managing the distribution of updates released through Microsoft Update to computers in a corporate environment. Question 7. You're working on a Mac computer and you need to grant access to another user on a separate Mac. Which option should you enable to allow them to take control of your computer? A. Remote desktop B. Remote assistance C. Screen sharing D. Screen mirroring The correct choice is C. Screen sharing On a Mac computer, the screen sharing feature allows another user to view or control your screen. This can be useful when you need to share your screen for collaborative work or for troubleshooting purposes. Remote desktop and remote assistance are terms more commonly associated with Windows systems, and screen mirroring is a feature that allows you to display your device's screen on another device, such as a TV, but it doesn't provide control to another user. Question 8. A user's computer running Windows. 10. Reboots into recovery mode after a forced shutdown. Which recovery option could help resolve the problem? A. Startup repair. B. Windows complete PC restore. C. System restore. D. Windows refresh. The correct choice is A. Startup Repair. Startup Repair is a recovery tool in Windows 10 that can fix certain system problems that might prevent the computer from starting. It scans your computer for the problem and then tries to fix it so your computer can start correctly. Windows Complete PC Restore is a feature from Windows Vista and does not exist in Windows 10. System Restore can revert system files and settings to a previous state, but it doesn't necessarily fix startup issues. Windows Refresh, now known as Reset This PC, can reinstall Windows, but might be a more drastic step than necessary if a startup repair can fix the issue. Question 9. A technician needs to enable the Telnet client feature on a Windows 10 Enterprise machine. How can this be accomplished? A. Turn on via control panel. B. Enable via programs and features. C. Install feature using DISM. D. Modify using GPEDT DMSC. The correct choice is C install feature using DISM. The Deployment Image Servicing and Management DISM tool is a command line tool that can be used to service and prepare Windows images, including those used for Windows PE, Windows Recovery Environment, Windows RE, and Windows Setup. DISM can be used to enable or disable Windows features such as the Telnet client while the Telnet client can also be turned on via the control panel or enabled via programs and features. Using DISM is a more direct method, especially for a technician. Modifying using gp.msc, group policy editor, would not directly enable the Telnet client feature. That wraps up this CompTIA A Plus Core 2 Software Troubleshooting Practice Question video. Make sure to check out the rest of the series to fully prepare for the software portion of the Core 2 exam. Leave any questions you have in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.